I'm Mel Toy Franca. I write books, I make YouTube videos, and starting next month, I will also be a student at a hand-to-hand -hand combat training school run by the Thai military police. Now, you're probably wondering why I would sign up for something like that, so allow me to explain. Last month, my friend Joy and I left our lives behind in California with a plan to live in Thailand for one year. After the most chaotic plane trip of our lives and a 24-hour quarantine, we were finally released into the world of Bangkok. The first two weeks went great. Joy and I started to get used to life in the most populated city in Thailand. We even met up with my online friend Leola, who introduced us to the amazing malls here. But eventually, we ran into a problem. Our visa was running out. As a result of COVID restrictions and a lack of planning on our part, the visa we had when we entered the country was only a 30-day tourist visa. So unless we came up with a backup plan, we would have to leave the country. After some panicked research, we narrowed down two options that would allow us to stay in Thailand for a full year as we originally planned to. We could join a language school to learn Thai, or we could join a hand-to-hand -hand combat school run by the military police up north. And I must admit that this intrigued me a lot more than the language schools did. So we made the obvious choice. The first part of the enrollment process was fairly simple, just a lot of emails back and forth with the school, including some awkward discussion about Joy's photo. To complete the second part of our enrollment, we would have to travel from Bangkok to Chiang Mai to meet the school staff in person and convert our 30-day tourist visa into a one-year education visa. We also were required to sign a one-year lease on our own apartment, which meant moving again. But before we left, we met up with our friend Leola to enjoy a fun night in Bangkok at the Loika Throne Festival. We're about to get on a train pretty soon to go to Chiang Mai from Bangkok. Overnight train, 12 hours long. On the way to the station, we stopped by at Everyday Handcraft Coffee to say goodbye to our friend Saroj. We'll miss the lattes. We will miss this place the most. <laughs> The process of leaving Bangkok was not easy. We had to pick up our tickets from a building near the train station, but in order to get there, we had to cross many, many busy roads. It's so dangerous to cross the road here. Yeah. And we got a ton of luggage. It's not good. <laughs> I'm so scared. And it's so hard. The lady who gave us our tickets just laughed and directed us to an underground subway tunnel we could have taken instead. We literally did walk a whole highway. Oh my my life flashed before my eyes. Yeah, we're out. We survived. We probably looked so stupid to everyone. We walked right past this. These uh -huh. escalators were so that stupid. So that was... I was so tired. After all that hardship, we finally arrived at the station. We are stopping to get some Cafe Amazon here on the second floor of the train station. We have two hours to kill before we board our train. This has been really, really, really fun. And I can't wait <laughs> for another 12 hours, 14 hours of this. We are about to board. Me, I'm so excited. I'm so tired. <laughs> The overnight train was both really fun and really odd at the same time. I almost fell climbing up into my bunk and the AC was blasting so high that my flannel and this thin blanket did nothing to keep me warm. I also ran out of data on my sim, so Joy and I had to communicate by airdropping screenshots of text to each other. But at least the sunrise was hard to beat. <laughs> we 
have made it to our Airbnb and we're going to meet a real estate agent at 2 p.m. to go look at some apartments that we might stay at for the next year. Yes, apartment hunting. I almost went. Uh, there's no cobra. <gasps> I want to take a minute to just thank everyone who has been supporting this Thailand trip journey from the beginning of this video series. I would not be able to financially afford this trip without you guys and just hearing your encouragement has helped me get through my doubts about this move because at times it is pretty scary. So thank you so much for being here to support me and I hope to repay you with some more awesome content coming next year as well in 2022. But anyways, let me give you an apartment tour. This little section here is our couch and the cool thing is, ow, sorry, it can expand into a bed. We also have this balcony here with a gorgeous view. Sometimes we both just sit and do work on our laptops and then we also eat here. Groceries are actually quite pricey in Chiang Mai, so if you take a look at our fridge, you can see that there's not much in here. <laughs> We pretty much eat out for every meal or we just get food delivered to the lobby downstairs using a food delivery app called Grab. Here is the bedroom. Here we have a closet for clothes and the bathroom. Hi, what's up? There's our shower. After signing the one year lease for this apartment, we still had to turn in paperwork to both the school and the immigration office. But one of these required documents we didn't have and obtaining it was also completely out of our control. For a few days, I was genuinely panicked. Our visa had not been converted yet, so it was about to expire. And based on the articles I read online, if we didn't leave the country before its expiration, we would either be fined, deported, or imprisoned. And I didn't like any of the above options. But thankfully, we received the document just a few hours before our deadline. We were able to turn everything in to the combat school and to the immigration center super last minute. We cut it really close, but we were finally able to relax knowing that everything was wrapped up with both our combat school enrollment and with our visa situation. We're going to Wan Lamar. It's like that one meeting. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Joy and I have officially been living in Thailand for five weeks now, which is just crazy to think about. And as you may or may not know from my previous videos about this Thailand journey, it was quite the challenge to get here. There was a lot of paperwork and research involved, but moral of the story, no matter how much time and effort you put into figuring out how to travel somewhere, make sure you put an equal amount of time and effort into planning how you're going to stay there too. Don't go on a wild goose chase like us, but I guess the combat school should be pretty fun, right? 